Hey, what's good, my homies, my family, my mafia, bro? Stop playing. <laughs> In today's video, I'll be showing y'all how to turn your Minecraft Pocket Edition into an ocean exploration game with mods and add ons. But know that since the 1.18 update, a lot of add ons that could have been used don't work anymore, like Subnauticraft. But you know how we do it, yo. We make the best out of what we had. Oh, before I forget, here's the shout outs. These guys have been really supportive on the channel, man. So. Whenever you see them, just thank them. Links are in the description and be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Mizuno Craft Shaders aims to make your game more aesthetic and generally increases the saturation. While the Tachi Burner and Minimalist Shader combination makes MCPE look realistic. Better mob animations and the better water textures add on to this realism by making water transparent and giving animations specifically to the squids. It also works for the drowners. Enjoy the scuba add-on is an add-on that adds new gadgets and creatures that help you to explore the ocean. The mobs can appear in all the Minecraft water biomes and offers a wide variation of mobs from glowing jellyfish to the stingrays found in the surface levels. The mobs can naturally spawn including structures like destroyed buildings or mushrooms and most mobs have interactions with each other like hunting with detailed animations. Lastly it offers a boat you can use as transportation and includes naturally spawning foliage in beach biomes. Sea dragons add several monster like fish that have a chance to spawn in the depths of Minecraft's ocean, which adds on to the horror as you can find yourself in a terrifying chase from these creatures. Some even have the appearance of humans like the sirens. Mobs are amazingly detailed, by the way. Project Aquatic is an add-on that adds extinct species of fish to the game which honestly make it interesting as you can find fish that you've never heard of swimming around freely. Even the bear fish, <laughs> the bear fish. which is crazy in my opinion, I ain't gonna lie. Asian animals, specifically the seas and ocean expansion add-on is one of the best ocean exploration mods that still work for 1.18 in my opinion as it adds a large amount of mobs to your world machines you can use for exploration like the submarine and the crab part which makes exploring the ocean easier and fun to do while exploring you can find fossils and shark cages that can protect you from hostile sharks this are an office which can de depend on whether they are hungry or not yeah yeah is that detail If you have any purposes of using the land, it offers real life creatures like tigers which can be fought off with weapons from the enjoy the scuba add on. A previously showcased add on which surprisingly works for 1.18 is the minimalist boat add on adding a series of boats to your minecraft worlds which can be crafted or spawned from your creative inventory. Uh, keep in mind some boats require fuel to work which adds on to the realism. The last add-on for this video is the killer whale add-on which adds a detailed submarine texture similar to an actual killer whale <laughs> which can be used for exploring the depths of the ocean. If you've reached this far that's great as I will now show you a gameplay and few ocean facts presented by my real life friends.
Number one, seventy percent of the Earth's surface is covered entirely with oceans. Fact number two, uh, ninety-four percent of the Earth's wildlife is found in the ocean. I'll go on the short and kid. Firstly, all that salt in the ocean, that ain't salt. That's well covered. Secondly, less than 30% of the ocean has been explored, so we don't know which weird ass creatures are lying dormant. And thirdly, the ocean takes above the ocean takes up about 70% of the earth's surface. So yeah, there's more ocean than there is. See me you like it's funny about you. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that.